a hanging PVC planter is the perfect solution for gardeners who don't have the ability or the resources to grow in ground or in a raised bed or even in containers. This is going to save you so much of money and it's also something that you can do super cheap and it looks really nice and chic and trendy as well. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining in. This is Dylan from the Trinity Gardener channel and I'm so excited for this video and I hope you are too because in this one I'm going to be showing you how to do your own super easy, super cheap PVC planter right at home. The things that you're going to need, a PVC pipe, right, four inch preferably, some end caps, right, this is what an end cap is, this is what we use to put at the end of the PVC pipe, right, super cheap for this, I got two for five, two for ten dollars, right, five dollars for one, super cheap, some PVC solvent or basically glue for the PVC pipes, and the last thing that you're going to need is some rope, which I do not have here. Okay, so we're back, and the last thing that you need is some rope, this isn't technically rope, this is some twine, um, it's pretty strong, however, you want to get something that will at least be able to support around 50 pounds, right, comfortably. You can even use fishing line if you have fishing line at home, um, or if you have like tin rope, generally nothing too big, like um, half inch would be really too big. So you need like a quarter inch or smaller. Okay, so now that we have everything that we need and we know what we're going to do, let's get straight into it. Step one is going to be cutting the opening for our planter through this um, pipe here. So one of the most important things to know is that normally I would never be able to cut through this entire pipe using this hacksaw. It's just too big, right? The hacksaw itself is too big. So the trick for that would be to just take this part there and just pull it back like this. Sort of fold it back a little bit and you can continue cutting. So here we have our planter, right? That's it for step one. So step two is going to be putting on our end caps and that's just to make sure that the dirt doesn't fall out of the end every time rain falls or we water it, all right? So we're going to get some glue and stick this on here. We're going to do this on both sides. Be careful not to get glue all over yourself when you're doing this. Okay, so this is the end result of step two. You have your caps on either end of your PVC pipe, right, of our planter, more or less, and that will stop any of the dirt that we put inside here from running off over time. So on to step three. Okay, so step three is going to be putting in the holes that we need for our planter. But before I actually drill in the holes, I want you to just mark out exactly where I'm putting the holes and explain why. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting that's here because that's where i'm going to put two holes right and then i'm going to put two more over here and these holes that i'll put on those dots that'll be specifically for the rope that i'm going to be using to tie the planter right so that's one set of holes now i'm going to turn it to the underside now and i'm just going to put little dots here right just Right along and what these are is these are the drainage holes i'm going to be fairly generous with drainage holes just because um i don't want uh, the things that i plant to be waterlogged right i want the roots to you know be able to drain out fairly easily okay so we're going to get drilling now remember if you don't have a drill you don't have to be limited in this because you could potentially use a hot knife or something you know sharp it'll be a little more work but you know it's not impossible just because you don't have a drill doesn't mean you don't you can't do something like this so we're going to put in um, bigger holes than what i had anticipated before so it's going to be fewer actual holes but a lot bigger because that's the bit that we had available okay so now that we're done with the drainage holes we're going to drill the holes where we're going to be putting the rope for tying up our um, planter Okay, so what we've decided is instead of putting two holes over here, we're actually going to put the holes on this side, 
And that way the um, the rope is going to tie onto the cup as well as the PVC pipe. Same thing on this side here. Right, so that way we're going to have a stronger um, hold onto it. Right, so we're cancelling this and we're changing to this here. Okay, so that's it for step three. We have all our drainage holes and we have our holes to support our planter. So we're on to step four. And our fourth and final step is just going to be hanging up our planter, which we're going to be doing on this little wall space that we have here. So this is going to be fairly strong because uh, again, as I said, you want something that can hold around 50 um, pounds of weight. Um, but just to make it extra strong, I'm going to be doubling the line. So with this doubled, can more than hold over 100 pounds of weight. All right, so let's come in close and let's see how we're going to hang up this planter here. So now you just need somewhere sturdy to tie your planter to. I'm going to be using these um, steel rods that happen to go straight into the ground. So can't get much sturdier than that. Um, remember, use whatever you have at home that is, you know, fairly sturdy, somewhere strong where you can tie this because it's going to have some weight to it. It's going to be around 50 to 80 pounds, I imagine. Right, so somewhere strong enough. Let's make any final adjustments here to tie it in. Try to make it as level as possible, even though it's, that's a lot easier said than done. The main idea is once you're not... Uh, good enough and your planter is not going to come crashing down you're more than likely fine and there you have it four super simple steps to your own hanging diy pvc planter that was so easy and so cheap to do anyone can do this and anyone can have their nice little kitchen garden especially if it's impossible to grow in the ground or you just don't have the ability to do a raised bed this is perfect. You can grow so much in just this little space here. Join me in next week's video if you want to see how I fill in the uh, soil and plants into this planter here. We're going to be looking at that next week, the type of plants that I'll be using, the type of soil I'll be using, and the, just some methods about how I'm going to go about planting into this planter here and why I end up doing this planter in the first place. Remember, if you want to see more content coming out of the Trinity Gardener um, garden, you can go ahead and follow us on Instagram. We have a lot of pictures and videos coming out every week. And also, if you know someone who could benefit from this information, share this video with them to help them to grow more food for themselves and their family. Remember, this has been Dylan with the Trinity Gardener channel reminding you to get up and get growing. Take care.